G'day, Taz here. Living and loving the trucky lifestyle, and I've got some quick videos to share with you. Trucks getting bogged and pulled out, and something slightly different at the end. So just get cracking and get into it. First one here is how you, how you get a road train bogged. Belting along the outback road, come across a muddy puddle. Fully loaded road train pulled up dead in the mud pile. hitting a brick wall that was it just pulled you up completely dead yeah they don't show much more than this but yeah she's really in the mud this one i don't know how they would have got it out but i dare say it would have taken them some time right up to the nearly the top oh well halfway up the tires here's very good advertising for land, uh, v8 land cruisers pulling out a western star road train Now most times they just get these trucks rolling because they don't have much grip in the mud putting the power down the ground. You just need something to get you rolling again. And I'm a bit surprised the Land Cruiser could actually do this but here's the proof. This poor bug is dry bogged in some sand and this bloke in the full drive offered it to pull him out now let's have a look and see if, if you can spot where he's gone wrong give you a second to have a bit of a clearer look okay let's have a look and there it goes one bumper bar been ripped off Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you have tow lugs on your vehicles. Every vehicle's got a tow lug. Especially in the truck. So. A little bit of damage, a lot of embarrassment. Uh, probably a lot of explaining to your boss what happened, but we got out. This is what can happen when you fall asleep driving a road train. Thankfully... He wasn't hurt, and no one else was hurt. He's just got embarrassingly bogged out in the middle of nowhere. There's an old Steiger pulling a convoy of road trains, believe it or not. They're fully loaded with cattle. Driving through a soft creek bed. Now they've all got push and pull bars on them. So, or stiff bars they call them. So, there is no give. So, the idea is with these stiff bars between each tractor and truck and truck between trailer and truck. You see the next road train coming out. So, if one starts to lose grip, the others are meant to keep pushing them along. See that push and pull bar there? Now, if you haven't had any experience with trucks, and especially in soft dirt, they are shit house in soft sand. They just the sand just you just dig yourself in a hole, no time flat. So that's why they're using push pull bars and a line all together. It's 
especially with that much of weight. All that weight is pulling weight, baby. Having troubles is not the weight being pushed down on the on the wheels, on the drive wheels. Right, I know this is uh, nothing to do with trucks, but I found this one rather hilarious. Bit of old competition tug of war to the extremes. I bet they're both new new vehicles. And the uh, cruiser had a head start, but the Volts is taken off. It's dragging the poor old cruiser behind. Oh, hang on, we got a bit of a second life out of the old Land Cruiser. Here we go. Oh, the Volts is still fighting its way back still going it's getting his ass dragged and I believe the judge has made a call and the cruiser has won the first round the volts is not happening and he he wants to finish the competition his way buddy that's classed as cheating okay second round here we go the land cruiser's got the head start volts is spinning its wheels and the Land Cruiser's doing it easy. Well done to the Land Cruiser. Apparently he's the winner. He takes the trophy home. And the old Volti goes home with holding his head in shame. Okay, if everyone please be safe on our roads. And I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.